Hey, what's up, everyone? How's it going? Welcome to the cast of the finals match for the World Cyber Games in the America. And we are down to the finals. This is going to be complexity. And we're going to be going against a team that you may not be aware of here, Old Generations. And these guys have been competing in the Summer League for just a little while now. And anyone can enter this tournament, but we've now come down to the finals and it will determine who gets a chance to go to China and they are going to be competing against all of the best teams around the world so this is it and I'm excited to see how these teams do and uh, again there's the underdog here old generations a lot of us are already familiar with complexity so I'm excited to see how these guys match up in the finals for this American match here and so I'm gonna go ahead and push the play button let's get going with this so uh, we've got a uh, pretty interesting setup here don't see a lot of karma but I'm really excited to watch how that works out against the mid Oriana play we got a double AP setup with Oriana and Vlad could have some nasty interesting ultimates there as well so we're gonna have the uh, the extra damage coming out from Vlad's ultimate comboed with Oriana and we'll see if that works out as we're gonna have a uh, oh man this could be a bad early situation here we have complexity coming around looking for possibly an invade onto the red side and they are not going to get seen same thing happening here for old generations they're gonna be coming down and just guarding their blue buff they may be going for kind of a uh, a standard start here from what I can tell they did ward that up so they have vision of complexity coming around there and complexity just ward that up as well so that they will be completely aware of when old generations jungler is coming back around so see there could be a level one fight here if they walk up into this bush and I don't know it looks like old generation is actually pulling off right at the exact moment that complexity comes in this could be bad for them that's gonna be the first blood going to Mega Zero in that top lane or next in such an early game beast and that is gonna help him massively and that's going to force old generations to lose control of their early jungle now they did actually move back on around and they'll probably get a good leash here onto the red side and I don't think the complexity is gonna get there in time to actually shut that down but either way they got what they came for they got that first blood for Mega Zero and so we're gonna see how that causes this game to turn around for them if if they can actually make some plays here and turn that back around possibly semi god can go up use that red buff to gank the top lane quickly we could see some action there now they did get their blue buff stolen here as a lot of mortis is going to be coming down could be going for a level two gank onto this bot lane and this is going to be straight up into a flash using that stun from support annie so much strength from that on a level one sona and she goes down very quickly without a chance man that was just um unexpected that that flash play by annie very strong and let's take a look up top of course we have two level ones here but he's gonna get that level two first and i don't know if he's gonna try and make a level two play onto this vlad generally vlad should win the lane against a Renekton if played correctly but those early levels are very difficult until he starts to get his power built up and as far as the mid lane we've got Prawley here being a bit of a bruiser already level three versus this Oriana just making it so that she cannot get into that experience range as we have uh, Goldberg playing a little bit a uh, little bit scared here and uh, of course it is necessary whenever you're playing against uh, someone, but yeah, lots of turret damage. So probably getting a little bit, uh, a little bit anxious about trying to pull off some damage there. Might, might have taken a little bit too much turret damage. And we have Semigod coming around for the gank. And uh, unfortunately for him, though, we've got Lord of Mortis coming in the backside, possibly uh, reading that. And there it is. There's going to be the turnaround, and he's just going to jump straight back to the turret. There's way too many creeps here. That is not a good time for him to come in there and try and gank because there's just no way the Goldberg can get out of there safely to assist with that and so far complexity 
using their advantage. Oh my goodness, we already had a uh, dive at level three on the bottom lane. Sona going down with that Tibbers, or not the Tibbers, but the Annie stun. And right at that moment, as Kimo tries to make his escape, Lottomortis comes in from the backside and picks up the final kill there. And they're just going to be crushing this bot lane. Uh, there are so many creeps they're going to lose in experience, and that is just an unfortunate setback for them. Um, that early game really put them in a bad position. So now down by several thousand golds, we'll have to see if they can come back from that. They're going to have to play very safely. Get some vision out of the jungle and the flash into the knockup from their jungler is going to take Goldberg down behind his turret before Simi God is able to react to that. That was an insane play. I don't know how he got out of that. Because those turrets at level 3 and 4 do so much damage. But he was only in there for just a split second. Just long enough to allow the Karma to get in there. Pop off his few spells and get that ignite. And meanwhile, top lane, Mega Zero dives and gets a kill for himself. Now at 6 to 0. This is not looking good for old generations. Every lane getting crushed right now. But let's not lose hope yet. They have made it all the way through this tournament. So, I've seen crazier comebacks in my time. I've come back from games where we were 0-9 and, and down two inhibitors and no problem, still came back. It's all about making plays and taking advantage of the enemy's mistakes. But we'll have to see if that is something that can happen in this game. So far, this is really scary. Lots of damage coming in here onto Kimo. Now one level behind, and this Corky really wants to go in heavy. And there's a stun onto the Sona support, followed up by the exhaust, and that will be enough to take him down as he has no further escapes. His flash was already burned, and he had no way to get out of that one alive. We've got Simi God coming up top, looking for a little bit of help here onto Hot Pepper Jack, but he doesn't see any opportunities for a gank as Renekton has already left the lane. It's now sitting at 7-0. Complexity feeling really strong. Very brave right now. Causing Goldberg to sit really scared at his turret. He's already been dove twice. And he does not know what is going on around. He does have vision of the bottom area. But he's going to have to watch out for the top side. Because that is where he is not aware. And plus with the, uh, with the flash plays from that. Oh my goodness. There's already dives. Past the first turret, they're not even going to let them get back to the lane. They're just going to sit here and farm minions behind the turret while the turret kills off the minions. And that's going to force these guys to be completely shut off from any sort of experience. Still at level 3, the Sona has no chance. And now a dive up top lane onto Hot Pepper Jack. He will just barely escape using his ghost. But now with that summoner down, Mega Zero is free to do whatever plays he wants. And now at level 6, here we have Lot of Morris going in for the dive onto the mid lane. And Goldberg is crushed with nothing that he can do to escape that. Simi God doing his best to just farm up his own jungle because there's nowhere he can go right now. There's nowhere that is safe. As a jungler, once every lane is losing, you have no further options. You can't gank a lane if it doesn't exist. And right now, looks like Complexity is completely taking over the top side of the jungle. Thank goodness Simi God was able to get his wolves before, uh, before Chumper and MIA gets in here. Because now they are going to be stealing this blue buff. It could be a little bit of uh, a contesting going on here. But right now, Complexity is just way stronger in a duel. And I don't think that old generations can fight that off. So this is basically Complexity's game to lose. They're going to have to... Oh my goodness, this could be the first kill of the game. Kimo going in. Take a lot of damage from that Corky. But he does get the first kill for old generations. Before falling once again to Chuber. And there's the shutdown. 500 gold going to Semigod. And this is exactly what they need. The Sona will not live. She goes down to the Ignite from Prawley. But a double kill... For the jungler, Simi God doing work here, going to force a lot of mortars to run away right now because there are two full health champions chasing him down. And uh, you can really tell he wants that advantage in the early game. He's got that Oracle is at only eight minutes. You don't see this very often. Normally you'll see a pink here and there for dragon control, but an eight minute Oracles is not at all something that you would expect. And also... you. You can also tell how reliant uh, Complexity is on getting this early game advantage. As we watch this dive in the top lane, 
Hot Pepper Jack losing his turret and staying in just a little bit too long and will go down to an Ignite. Probably not expecting that to come out so soon. And that's going to allow Mega Zero to continue shoving in this lane even further. But I was going to say earlier is Karma really going for that early game with three Dorans. Normally you would say three Dorans, that's not a great build. But in this particular situation, these hot pressured uh, pro matches here, um, games can end very quickly. And so building something such as three Dorans for that early game pressure is really a very sound strategy. And it's and it's very strong for uh, for winning these games quickly at only nine and a half minutes. You can already see so much pressure with two turrets down and all the lanes just crushing it. So there it is. There's the dive. We have a great Timbers locking up two of old generation's team behind the turret, allowing for the dive. And that's going to be the free turret for them. And they're going to continue shoving this out, possibly even taking another turret. And now we have Kimo getting caught. I'm not sure what he was doing in the backside. I don't know if he was coming in for a uh, for a little bit of damage on the backside, but a lot of Morris not going to let that happen. And there it is. Whacked him for the last time, using that Vault Breaker to chase him down further. And that's going to be them pounding away on this second middle turret. With old generation stuck in their base, I don't think they can really push out right now. They're just not strong enough. When you're down by 11,000 gold at only 10 minutes, it's really difficult to make any sort of plays. I mean, it's going to take some extremely large mistakes on the side of complexity. And there is the ultimate, the combo is looking fairly good here because Proly is all by himself. He did not fall back with his team as they are split pushing and that's going to be the kill. Hot Pepper Jack picking that one up using his ultimate to grab that one. On the backside though, Lot of Mortis coming in and looks like he's just kind of playing a little bit of a pressure game, kind of a, a game of cat and mouse and it's almost like they're messing with their food at this point. They're just walking in, showing pressure and then walking away saying, you know, go ahead and chase me and I'll kite you while we take the rest of your turrets because that's exactly what's happening as Mega Zero is split pushing that top lane and nobody can 1v1 him right now at this point. Um, even even Renekton going even in the lane is hard enough to deal with at least in the first 20 minutes or so in the game because he has such early game pressure and that's why a lot of teams in the LCS decided to pick up Renekton. You see him played so much now um, in, these, in these teams that rely on this early game win, uh, you know, where they all in everyone and they, they focus all of their, their pressure on trying to win that game right away. And that's exactly what's happening with Team Complexity here in the U.S. And it does look like if the thing, uh, if the game continues at this pace, they will be the uh, the winners of the USA WCG. Now we've seen some crazy games like this uh, in the, in the past when uh, when you have two really good teams going off together. It's only going to take one or two mistakes to really allow that snowball to happen, and it's very difficult to make that comeback. Here we go, though. Simigod doing as much as he can. They. They have no intention of giving up right now. You see him going in and looking for a chance to pick off probably, but I don't think, I don't know if he uh, he saw him, he wasn't aware of where the rest of the team was at, decided not to make any wild decisions there. But at, at this point, I feel like Old Generations does want to make some wild decisions because that's pretty much the only option that they're left with. They're going to have to pull off something big, and they can't even grab a Baron or anything like that at this point because it's only 12... Uh, well, coming on 13 minutes into the game, and the Baron hasn't even spawned yet. So there's no chance for them to pick up some large objective. And they can't really push out of their, their base right now. You can see the vision um, right there. All the pinks in the top side of the jungle just completely denying vision. There's the dive. Mega Zeo grab the kill onto the Sona. They are just coming in here like a wild storm, and people are dropping faster than I can even say their name. And Kimo is going to be the last one alive, and that will be the ace going to Trooper on Corky. And that's probably going to be the inhibitor as they wait for the rest of their minions. Mega Zero had to go back out and push the, push the wave in, but that was a complete dive into the ace at only 13 minutes in the base. And that's going to be the inhibitor. There's no way the Sona, who's already back up, you can see how early the game is based on the fact that that Sona came up 
before they even finish off the turret. So they are going to be backing off. They're a little bit low here. You know, as far ahead as they are, they have no reason to uh, stay in and make any more mistakes. So you can really see the level of play from that decision alone. I see so many teams make the mistake of staying in way too long. Now they do, uh, they do kind of hang out to pick up a few buffs. Mega Zero going to use his passive health regen on creeps to just shove things out a little bit further. He does need to get out of there though, as we have three members of all generations running in to try and catch, and they will not find him. Pink, but <laughs> pink going into the bush there. They're doing everything they can to come back. You have to give them credit for being so far behind in this tournament or in this game. I'd say they uh, they are making the best out of the worst type of situation that you can be in right now. Kimo getting really crushed by just one combo. Mega Zero didn't even have full rage and he took down Kimo to below half HP. And they are just going to continue to deny vision. Mega Zero is not afraid of anything that Old Generations is pulling out right now. So far this is looking like uh, looking like uh, one of those situations where they're just going to wait for those super minions to start pushing up into the lane, which are actually very hard to deal with at, uh, at early levels. As you can see, the Tristana just barely has hit level 6. To give you an idea of how early this game is. So they've been denied a lot of experience so far. They should be around level 9, as you can see, the Annie level 9. Corky level 10. That should be around the average of what that bottom lane should be at right now. And we're going to have everyone on complexity kind of grouping up uh, slightly into two groups going for the split push. And I imagine that we're going to have everyone come around the backside here going for a stun on anyone who decides to show face. And they're just not going to allow anyone to even defend that turret. Like, there is no chance. And there is a great Sona ultimate. The unfortunate part about it is they are just so far behind they cannot follow up correctly on that. That should have been a, uh, a game-turning ultimate, to be honest with you. But when you're this far behind and, uh, and you're getting crushed like that, there's just... Yeah, it looks like the, uh, the Tristana... She knows she knows her her life is forfeit at this point, so she just kind of jumps in, goes for the 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 surrender play, essentially is what I call it, when you just kind of do something you wouldn't normally do for the for the sake of getting it over with, and that's pretty much gonna be GG complexity taking a very quick win. I mean, only 16 minutes. They couldn't even surrender at this point, and uh, unfortunately, the game wasn't longer, but it was an exciting victory. Um, of course. They now are the ones who are going to get to go to China to compete against the best from around the world. And we'll have to just wait and see how those matches play out. But for now, Complexity, the winners of the USA Tournament. Thank you all for watching, even though it was a short one. Hopefully it was enjoyable for you all. And, uh, of course, be sure to uh, tune in and check out the, the Twitter for more information on the WCG. My name's Colby Cheese. I'll be putting up a broadcast of this game on my channel uh, later. If you would like to see more, then I'll see you around next time. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.